Welcome to Creative Biolabs. Organ on a chip, or OOC for short. It aims to provide an appropriate in vivo-like environment to guide the assembly of cell collections into 3D tissues capable of replicating one or more organ-level functions, or to culture organotypic tissues to retain function. We will introduce OOC design ideas and precautions from the following aspects. The first is conceptualization and design. The second is material selection and fabrication. The third is selection of biological elements. The fourth is supporting life inside the device. The first point is the conceptualization and design of the OOC system. We mainly need to consider the number of organ models and the culture configuration of each organ model. The choice of a single or multi-organ system depends on the functionality required of the system to be a good model of physiological processes. Among them, a single OOC provides a more detailed organ model, while a multi-OOC uses less detailed organ models and focuses on the interactions between organs. The next design consideration is deciding how to form functional organization within the OOC. Although there are many variations of OOC device architectures, they can generally be divided into two categories based on the organ systems they create. The first category includes solid organ chips, in which cells are cultured as 3D tissue pieces that can interact with each other and the culture medium in defined ways. Examples of this architecture type include micropillars and microwell arrays commonly used in liver, tumor, heart, and adipose OOCs. The second category consists of barrier tissue chips, where the device architecture supports cells forming a natural barrier between fluidic compartments. This allows the study of selective transport processes across barriers. These structures are commonly found in intestinal, lung, and skin OOCs. The second point is the material selection and manufacturing of OOC devices. Material selection depends on many factors, including final device functionality, microfabrication strategy, readout, and biocompatibility. A typical OOC device consists of various combinations of materials to build the final device. The most commonly used materials are mainly PDMS, thermoplastics, such as PS, PM, PC, or COC, 3D printing resins, glass, and silicon. Of course, there is no perfect standard material, as different materials have their own advantages and disadvantages, as shown in this table. Because different materials have their own pros and cons, decisions about material selection are often a compromise between desired functionality, use of manufacturing facilities, and the product development stage. OOC technology has reached a point where efficient manufacturing methods can be adopted through material selection based on experimental purposes, as shown in the figure. With biological compatibility and tunable mechanical properties, PDMS is fabricated using soft lithography to develop an elaborate microstructure, or 3D rapid prototyping by laser processing or integrated device fabrication with a gold or platinum deposited substrate, such as an electrode array. For large-scale experiments, such as high-throughput screening, plastic-based injection molding could be selected. For rapid prototyping with a high degree of design freedom, resin-based or hydrogel-based 3D printing is available. The third point is the selection of OOC biological elements. We mainly discuss the option of isolated cells, since they are more commonly used in OOC. The choice of cell source requires a balance between biological functionality and practical operability of the device. Mainly primary cells, immortalized cells, and stem cell-derived cells. In the context of OOC applications, several criteria should be considered when selecting an appropriate cell source. Firstly, patient specificity is a crucial factor. 
With the advent of iPSC technology, patient-derived stem cells have become easier to obtain with minimal invasiveness and can differentiate into various cell lineages. The intrinsic functionality of the cells is another key consideration. OOCs are often required to reproduce tissue-specific physiological functions essential to their intended applications, such as xenobiotic metabolism in the liver, barrier function in the gut and skin, and the contractility of cardiac and skeletal muscles. Expansion capacity is vital as well. This refers to the ability of cells to proliferate in vitro, directly related to the number of cells available for seeding into an OOC device. Supportive cell types play a crucial role. The stromal environment of a tissue includes supporting cells like fibroblasts, parasites, and vasculature. These cells significantly contribute to the function of engineered tissues and play an important role in disease progression. Stromal cells and their appropriate microenvironment are critical for reproducing specific tissue functions and physiological responses representative of in vivo conditions. Considering the functional time window is also essential, especially with iPSCs. These cells need two to three weeks to mature into specific cell lineages. Therefore, if on-chip stem cell differentiation and tissue maturation are considered, device design and operation should be robust enough to sustain long-term culture, typically spanning weeks. The final part involves supporting life inside the device. The OOC system will be operated with peripheral equipment, including pumps, incubators, sensors, and microscopes, to properly maintain, stimulate, and monitor cells inside the OOC system. Supporting life inside the device mainly requires attention to the following aspects. First, selection of cell culture media. For single OOCs involving only a single cell type, Media originally formulated for routine culture can be similarly employed. The complexity of media selection increases when generating single or multiple OOCs involving multiple cell types. Optimized co-culture media must be able to maintain the viability and functional phenotype of each distinct cell population. Once this criterion is met, we can then consider the suitability of the media to support downstream detection without causing unnecessary interference. When optimizing co-culture media for OOC applications, many research groups have employed various mixtures of the original culture media for each cell type and achieved relatively good results. And then, creation of perfusion loops. Media perfusion is a hallmark of OOC equipment and serves as a simulation of the circulatory system, maintaining concentration gradients for the convective transport of nutrients and waste. To drive media perfusion through OOC devices, various pumps have been adapted for OOC applications. Next is the control of the cellular microenvironment. Cells interact with soluble factors, ECM, and neighboring cells in a 3D environment with specific physicochemical properties. This collective environment is referred to as the cellular microenvironment and must be carefully controlled in the OOC system for cells to function properly. Compared to traditional batch cell culture systems, OOC systems allow more precise control of the cell microenvironment because the geometry of the culture chamber and the associated physical and chemical phenomena of the fluid are manipulated with microscale resolution. The last is monitoring OOC status. Various readout options and controls are necessary to monitor OOC status during cultivation and experiments. The most common method involves visually examining the OOC under a microscope, regularly checking for normal cell or tissue appearances, and identifying any abnormalities that could lead to equipment failure. With a professional team and advanced microfluidic platform, Creative Biolabs offers a variety of ready-to-use microfluidic chips, cell culture, and organonochip models. If you desire more information or wish to customize a special OOC, please don't hesitate to contact us.
Creative Biolabs has established a complete microfluidic technology platform. We provide customers with one-stop services in all aspects of microfluidic research and evaluation, including OOC design and manufacturing and personalized, customized solutions. For more details about Creative Biolabs, please visit www.creative-biolabs.com or email us at info at creative-biolabs.com.